What's going on guys, I'm Sean and I'm back again with another Final Fantasy 7 Remake video. If you watched my video yesterday then you were aware that this extra video was coming. If you didn't, it was basically old news that I was a bit late on so it's okay. But I guess this video is also news that I'm a bit late on. But that's okay, after this we'll be all caught up so with that being said, on to the video. A few days ago, a leaked image of the Korean version of Final Fantasy VII Remake's box art surfaced and confirms that the game will have a 100GB install size. Now, I'm not too surprised by that to be honest. We were already aware that the game was going to be on two dual layered Blu-ray discs. The capacity for each disc is 50.1GB, so I think it's fair to assume that if they were going to go the route of two discs that it was going to be pretty sizable. Another game that was released with two Blu-ray discs was Red Dead Redemption 2, and that was 105GB. Let me tell you something, if you haven't played Red Dead Redemption 2, then hear this. If the 105 file size wasn't apparent enough, that game is massive. The scale, the amount of detail and things that you can do in that game is almost ridiculous. Now I'm not saying that that means Final Fantasy VII Remake is going to be as massive in scale as Red Dead 2, but that file size it ain't exactly going to be a small game either, so I feel like anyone that had any doubts should be able to rest easy now. On to the next bit of news, recently Square Enix confirmed that they won't be re-releasing existing PS4 games on the PS5 and will instead rely on backward compatibility. Honestly, I'm fine with that. If that means I can buy a game once and still be able to enjoy it whenever I get to PS5 without having to buy it again, then I'm all for it. We already know that PS4 games will run better on PS5, and, and in the case of Final Fantasy VII Remake, I'm sure Square will release a patch to properly utilize the PS5's power, so again, that's cool with me. And the last bit of news is that Butterfinger has announced that between March 3rd and May 14th, if you purchase Butterfinger, Baby Ruth, or Crunch Bar, you could get free DLC for Final Fantasy VII Remake by sending in a photo of the barcodes. You have to buy at least two of the participating products at once to qualify. Buying at least two gets you a PS4 dynamic theme of Tifa. The other DLC are cosmetic items that are limited in number and require you to buy more candy bars. You know, I think I might have a problem. Any other game had an offer like this and I wouldn't even look twice at it, but this... <laughs> All I'm going to say is, I think I'm about to buy some candy. Now don't get me wrong, I understand that some people might have a problem with this kind of thing, and that's fine. I don't particularly like the idea of having to buy candy to get content for a game. That being said, I do like candy and I have a kid that likes candy, so the way I see it, I'm just stockpiling candy for the future. Yeah, totally not trying to justify the fact that I intend to buy candy until I unlock everything. But I want to know how you feel about all this. Do y'all care about the cosmetics offered in this? I feel like, if anything, buying two candy bars to get the dynamic Tifa theme could be nice. Let me know what you think down in the comment section. If you liked the video, then be sure to leave a like, and if you want to see more, then maybe subscribe. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you all in the next video. Be sure to enjoy the rest of your day. Bye, guys.